What happened to sleeping? <sighs> okay. I know it doesn't look like it, but this here is not a bad read. Only one problem. Right there. To be continued. <sighs> I hate cliffhangers. Where did you get that? Uh, back at Bill's. I mean, all this stuff was just lying there. <sighs> what else did you get? Well... Here. This make you all nostalgic? You know, that is actually before my time. <laughs> that is winter, though. Oh, man. Well, better than nothing. Oh. I'm sure your friend will be missing this tonight. Mm -hmm. Light on the reading, but it's got some interesting photos. Now, Ellie, that ain't for kids. Whoa! How how the hell would he even walk around with that thing? Get rid of that. Well, hold Just... your horses. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh. Why are these all stuck together? Um. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Bye-bye, dude. You know what? This isn't that bad. Don't you try to get some sleep? Right. I'm not even tired. your seatbelt on, Ellie. Well, well, what about the guy? Oh, he ain't even hurt. Get your breath. We're leaving. Okay. Hey. Watch out! Yes. Stay down! Hello everyone, and welcome to our The Last of Us Let's Play. We continue our journey with Pittsburgh, Alone and Forsaken. Now, we did hear some commands for a flank here, so we're going to want to be a little bit careful of that. Looks like we do have a guy on the left-hand side here, and then potentially we could be getting flanked here as well. Now, we have a couple more individuals that are actually moving up here. Great opportunity to take advantage of our rifle here as we slowly but surely try to line up one of those headshots. As of the moment, 
I do hear some additional noise over there. Let's get a quick reload in here, considering that we're probably going to end up needing this before too long. Gonna get our rifle back out real fast and try to get a quick reload in. Looks like we have a gentleman that's actually right in front of us here. I'm surprised he's able to continue to stand there, but that headshot is gonna be more than sufficient to take him out of commission, though. All right, I think that's the last of them. You okay? Yeah, I guess so. Good. We need to get the hell out of here. You know the drill. Look around, see if there's anything we can use. Roger that. Now we're definitely going to want to spend some time here trying to see if there's any good supplies that are laying on the ground. Obviously, we had a very large battle that just kind of ensued over the last several moments here. So it's going to be a great chance to check and see if we have any supplies that we need to be Picking up, of course, ammunition would be fantastic, or even some health kits. Of course, we did sustain a little bit of damage there. Now, unfortunately, the pickup truck is pretty much toast. There's definitely no salvaging that. Unfortunately, it has uh, definitely seen better days, so to speak, but... As of the moment here, we obviously have some kind of supplies that are out and about, but... Still not really seen anything of any true value. See anything? Well, we definitely have an abundance of medical supplies. I mean, obviously... A little bit of uh, ammunition is always good, but once again, still kind of completely full on that. Let's actually get in our backpack real quick, make sure we're all topped up on supplies. It does look like everything is looking pretty good so far, so not really seeing anything that we need to be too concerned with, at least at this junction. Now, it does look like we're actually going to be venturing out into the unknown here, which is a little bit terrifying, of course. Now we do have Ellie all the way over there. I'm actually going to take a look here and see if there's anything down this way. This looks to be kind of a very interesting area. Let's quickly jump over here real quick. A couple of drawers I obviously want to take a look at and see if there's anything inside of them. Unfortunately, that one was a bust. But if we take a look over on the right one, still kind of the same story. Some good supplies in there, but obviously, you know, always hoping for a rifle, but unfortunately, I don't think our luck is going to be that great. I'm going to check in here, though. This looks to be some really good supplies, and as per kind of our conversation there, it did look like we actually did find some extra ammunition, so kind of worked out pretty well. Now, it does look like Ellie is actually... Kind of waiting on us. Let's quickly run down here really fast. I just want to make sure that there's nothing down in this alley that we need to be kind of worried about. Does look like we were able to kind of locate everything. So let's quickly run over here and we're actually going to be using our muscles to kind of lift this garage up. There we go. See if you can... Get it propped open with some. Um, there's some pretty gnarly stuff in here. Ellie! Right. Okay, go! All right, I got it. 
I got it. I got it. Look. Definitely looks like we have some sickos, unfortunately. So we're going to quickly do a little bit of scavenging here and see if there's some useful supplies that we can take advantage of. It does look like we did actually find a smoke bomb, which I'm imagining will come in handy. Now I am going to read over here and check out some of these uh, cabinets or kind of uh, storage units, considering that there might be some extra supplies in here that could be very beneficial for us. Eight, five, shoes, four, jacket, one, miscellaneous clothing, six, tires, four, miscellaneous medical, two, canteen, one, eight, six, shoes, two, miscellaneous clothing, three, backpack, one, canned food, three, and dried food, four, eight, seven, shoes, four, jacket, two, miscellaneous clothing, seven, and dried food, two, eight, eight. Nothing, everyone too busy chasing down the crazy chick. Fucking hunters. See, this could have been us. Man, that is a lot of people that didn't make it. I knew I should have turned the damn truck around. We lived. Barely. Come on, let's get out of here. How did you know? Know what? About the ambush. I've been on both sides. Oh. So, uh, you kill a lot of innocent people? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Take it however you want. I guess this is where the assholes sleep. I mean, slept. Chapter 2. Improved effectiveness of first aid measures in the field. Splinting. Splints are used to stabilize a wounded body part. 1. While rigged items are ideal as supports, an abundance of these rolled cloth will suffice. 2. Extend the splint beyond the area of immobilization. When possible, include joints above and below injury. 3. Secure splint firmly above below injured area. Avoid fastening knots directly above the injured site. 4. Palpate the area distilled to the injury to ensure adequate blood flow to the extremities remains. Here we go.
Oh, I don't think these guys were infected. Well, it don't matter. Let's just keep moving. All right. Here's the bridge. That's our way out of here. Hey, Ellie, slow down. Wait for me. What? Right here. Well, how about you let me go first and keep your voice down? Okay. else he can drive me crazy with. That's awful. Well, Ellie's going to be very happy. We actually found her another magazine to take advantage of. A good old comic book here, so to speak. So I think she'll be really happy. Hopefully it actually won't leave on a cliffhanger, but knowing how that media typically works, I think that's probably uh, wishful thinking there. What happened here? Your fellow hunters do this? Cute. And no, my money's on the military. Why would they mow down all these people? You can't let everyone in. <laughs> so they killed them? And dead people don't get infected. You sacrifice the few to save the many. It's kind of shitty. Yeah. Well, definitely sounds like the military is doing what they do best, uh, basically slaying everybody. Now, these cars are in a very interesting position. As you can see, it seems like people really tried to get out of there. What was that? Oh, no. Ellie, get down. Where did you learn to shoot? Man, screw you. You had an entire flock and you hit nothing. I'm about to hit you. Wow. Yeah, you're really upset. Well, if you want some lessons, you know, I'm more than willing to help you out. Yeah, whatever. Where the hell are those guys? They're supposed to be here. No, they're on the highway shift. Wouldn't be surprised if they cut another batch of tourists. Spots a gold mine, lucky bastards. See if there's anything you can forage while we wait for him. Ain't nothing here. Let's keep going. Ah, screw this. I ain't waiting any longer. Go see what those assholes are up to. They pull this crap every time. Now, I swear to God, if they are holding out on us again... Yeah? And you'll do what? You'll see. Yeah, <laughs> I will see. Now, it does look like this actually worked out very well for us. They actually are going to continue to move on, so... Let's actually uh, take advantage of that and keep moving. I think we could have easily taken them all out, but it would have required a lot of ammunition that, unfortunately, I just don't really want to waste, especially with how scarce it is in most cases. Ugh, those guys creep me out. Is this city full of these guys? It looks like it. Oh, thank God. That bridge looks pretty far. We'll get there. Whoa. It's strange seeing a checkpoint with no soldiers. Well, this is what most zones look like. This place has been abandoned for a while now. Give us our rations. We lost Troy Hill to the most ragtag pieces of maggot shit ever to carry a gun. Bastards are cunning, though. They stole one of our mortar launchers. We didn't stand a chance. With this and the strip district in their pocket, they now control the whole river. 
Made for a difficult retreat, there's barely half our squad left. I just pray to God that Jeremy and Pam are still alive. They got stranded on the other side of the river. So far, not seeing a whole lot of good, so to speak. So I guess we're going to continue through the checkpoint here. I'm actually going to go crouching just a little bit, just so we can kind of break line of sight, just in the off chance that there's maybe a rifleman somewhere. Obviously, we don't want to try to alert anybody to our presence. If we can do this as sneaky as possible, it's obviously going to work out the best for us. Too. Just keep it down while we're going through this area. Still fucking tired. We were up all night chasing this tourist. Oh yeah, you were a part of that? I heard about this. Yeah, this one chick, she just not give up. I've never seen anyone with so much fucking energy. Thank Take you. A couple minutes to snuff everyone else. It took me five hours to hunt her ass down. Jesus. Sometimes you gotta earn your keep, right? Yeah, yeah. We're about to give up, and she started shooting at us. Stupid. You could have got away. You see what the guy keep a baby? Took out my last one. Nice. Right. Right that was that. So it looks like we have three individuals in front of us, and then potentially two individuals that are over in like that general direction over there. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful just so that they don't sneak up behind us. This does place us in quite an interesting position here at the moment. I was hoping that these guys might continue onward with their path, but unfortunately they seem to be set in their ways and they're not really too interested in the whole relocating. So, let's see if we can't try to get maybe a bottle over that way. What the? I heard something. Yeah, what the hell was that? Ain't shit here. Good. Let's keep moving. Gun. Well, that was almost a very interesting position to find herself in. I was not expecting there to be a guy over in that general direction. I'm actually going to switch back over to this bottle and see if we can't re get those guys to go over there once again. So it does look to just be this one gentleman over here. Now I am seeing quite a bit of really useful supplies that are over here. So once we get him taken out, this might be a great opportunity to quickly grab some goodies here. It does look like these guys have been stocking up as of recent. So they're definitely not going to be missing these supplies because... I don't foresee them being very many of them left by the end of this venture. I think they're going to quickly find that their numbers are going to dwindle a little bit. Now, I did see a note over here. I definitely want to check and see what's going on, see if they're leaving any clues for us. Sir, going to 14 months in this little revolution has turned into a bloodbath. We've lost too many men, and frankly, we're about to lose the entire zone. If we stay any longer, we're going to get lynched. Awaiting your orders. Now, unfortunately, it looks like we have a couple of people that have come over to say hello. They're very interested in maybe what had happened to their buddy at one point. Now, he's no longer with them, so they don't really have too much to be concerned with, as there's really nothing for them to be coming to save at this moment. Now, I think I might have seen somebody on the second level up here. We're actually going to continue to venture up into the secondary or third story, depending on how many levels there are to the staircase. But 
As of the moment, we're slowly but surely working our way all the way to the very top here. Does look like we have identified our newfound friend that's about to quickly find that his ticker of time is quickly winding down here. Does look like he might have some kind of a rifle, potentially. Or it could be a some other kind of weapon here. All right, bud. I'm going to have you come over here with me for just a few moments. I'm going to quickly put you down here. This guy is kind of seeing what's going on, which is a little concerning. I was hoping that his vision might be a little bit more hampered. But nevertheless, he saw something happen, but he wasn't really too sure about the specifics of that. Now, quickly investigating the area a little bit further to make sure that we don't have any new friends that might be lurking in the abyss, so to speak. We're actually going to continue to creep our way to victory here. Now, it does look like we actually have several guys over here. Before, it looked like there was just maybe a couple of them, but as we've continued to move around here, it looks like there just continues to be more of them that show themselves. We're going to quickly drop this guy behind the couch. I think he's obviously going to enjoy it. I mean, obviously, they had plenty of seating over here, so they definitely were not... Uh, having any difficulties finding a good place to sit. But in this case, that guy's actually going to kind of have a little bit of a nap on the floor. He's been a, a very hard worker as of recent, so I feel like he kind of needs to be rewarded for his efforts. Now, I would like to try to utilize this bow here, but we have quite a bit of sway, unfortunately, on it. So obviously our archery skills are not quite up to snuff. Now, we don't necessarily need to take this guy out of commission. I just would really like to take him out trying to utilize this bow here for a brief moment. A very nice, good old shot right to the back will do the trick, of course. So, we're able to successfully take him out of commission. Obviously, going to come over here and grab some of the shotgun ammo. And taking a look at our surroundings here, it does look like, for the most part, everything's looking nice and clear. I did see a way to actually get out of here, so let's see if we can't venture down the staircase and see what lies below. Now, quickly checking our surroundings, everything looks pretty safe for the moment, but unfortunately, I think as we find our way a little bit further down, we might have some new surprises and some new challenges that might show themselves. Now, we do have a processing gate over here, which normally I think would have been a very good sign for us. But unfortunately, that's not quite exactly where I think we need to be just yet. Looks like we do have a gentleman over there as well, so we're going to have to be careful of him. He could create some difficulties if we're not careful. Now, for the most part, I'm not really seeing anybody else. Obviously, I do see some supplies over here, so definitely want to grab those. It's possible that we might just have the final gentleman that's actually outside here. Now, if we can venture all the way over to him, it might be a great opportunity to get rid of him. Ah, unfortunately, it looks like there are a few foes, actually.
Continuing to check our surroundings here, I know that we do have another gentleman somewhere on the other side of this. Let's quickly get over to where we took this guy out of commission. I'm waiting for this guy to show himself, and as we were just saying that, great opportunity to get rid of him. Now, just a moment ago, I actually saw a gentleman all the way down there still continuing to find some explosive devices, which normally would be a great sign to take advantage of those, but I'm actually going to be... Ooh, we got to back up. We really got to get moving back. All right, bud, so you're going to quickly find here in a few moments, if you're not careful, that this is going to ultimately be your demise. So we're going to quickly choke this guy out, of course. So I think we kind of cleared out quite a bit of this. I felt like we did a lot of really good work here and ultimately took out some... Very naughty people. I mean, obviously, we've seen that they were causing a lot of issues for quite a bit of people. Now, heading back into here, we do have a very interesting ordeal. I'm checking to see if there's anybody that we may have missed, but for the most part, I think we were able to successfully clear out everybody. Everything appears to be, at least at first glance, looks to be pretty clear. Now, let's actually venture a little bit more over in this general direction, making sure that we're not missing anything. May need to venture back up to that second level. There could have been a door that actually gives us access to a portion that we need to get over to. Ah, there's another guy. That may be a little too far range, unfortunately. So let's see if we can't uh, maybe close the distance just a little bit. Oh, no. Well, I think you found me, bud, but I don't think it worked out in your favor, unfortunately. I was too damn close. To the edge of the universe and back. Endure and survive. Excuse me? Savage Starlight. That comic I've been reading? That's what the hero says after a big battle. <laughs> Endure and survive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Man, you gotta be crazy to string up soldiers. Yeah, you get people desperate enough, they'll do just about anything. And the people that rose up, they're the ones we've been fighting here? That'd be my bet. Let's see where this leads us. Watch yourself on these drops. Down, 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 down. 
downtown. Let's get out of here. There's more of them. All right. I don't think they saw us. <sighs> There's our bridge. We're a little closer. I think. Let's keep at it. Come on. I can't make that jump. If you get me up there, I can move that plank. Looks like we're actually going for a little bit of a swim here. I did see that there was an open way to get over here, so we're actually going to be venturing into kind of a very interesting maybe cafe looking area. Now I'm actually going to go over here and see if there's maybe some supplies. Maybe we can uh, brew up a good old coffee or something. You know, if I'm making and I'm paying, what are you guys having? Now, while there was some supplies there, unfortunately not really seen anything too valuable. We're actually going to venture all the way over here, and then... Hey, there's one of those floating raft things again. Can we use it? So Ellie actually sees a raft, it looks like. I'm taking a look to see if I see anything. It looks to be a little bit further down there. So we'll actually venture over there in just a brief moment. I'm actually going to jump back into the water real quick. I do see a staircase over here that I am slightly interested to see what maybe lies on the second, potentially the third story. So let's quickly venture over here. Now, hopefully we don't find a clicker or anything that could cause some issues, because as of the moment, we don't really have our companion. That's never a good sign when you see a rat running away. So far, everything's looking pretty calm. Not seeing anything too crazy just yet. Kind of a very barricaded area over here. So it looks like maybe at one time there was some infected that were causing some issues in here. But for the moment, not seeing anything too crazy. It's going down tonight. We're going to take the Eastern Checkpoint. I've stashed some extra supplies at the Regal Apartments. It's marked with a red X. Well, it's good to know. We got some, maybe potentially, some really good extra supplies here that are going to yield some benefit to us. Let's actually check the next level up here. Unfortunately, it looks like that is not accessible to us. So actually going to venture down. Let's go get that raft so that way we can get Ellie kind of brought over here and we can continue onward with our mission. Now, as we venture all the way back out into the unknown here, let's venture over to this raft system. Let's see where this goes. What the hell? Oh, this place is bad. Get on. We're cutting through the hotel. Um, okay. Is 
Set up that plank like they did. All right. Now you just need to find a way up. Well, I think if we venture back into the kind of hotel system over here, we should be able to pretty much just jump right on top of this and then kind of hoist ourselves all the way up to the tippy top. Do you think those hunters are gone? We're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> 